Okay, today's video is inspired by a question that I got on my last video by John Loudon about uh, mowing height. What did John ask me? He said, looking good, Matt. That's in regards to my last week's video where the lawn was uh, mowed for the first time with the cylinder since the renovation at a 12 millimetre height and looking really, really good. Maybe in a future video, you could talk about how you choose your cutting height. In brackets, you mentioned the range in this video and I think I did, yes. Uh, looks awesome at 12 millimetres, so I'm interested in the pros and cons of going lower. Great question. Now, my lawn is looking a fair bit scrappier this week. It is uh, looking probably about 50% as good as what it did last week. You would think that your lawn would be uh, getting better, but what I've done is a height reset. So before I go into the pros and cons, I'll go through my week, uh, what I've done just for the people that are of following. So I started off with a uh, 12 millimeter height. So I wanted to get that down to six millimeters. And I'll go into the reasons in a second, but how I've done that is I've started grooming. Grooming is vertically cutting the lawn to take out a bit of thatch, cut the runners, the excess runners, and uh, just make it a bit more uniform. And then uh, I'll mow lower and lower uh, with the cylinder mower. So I went did a groom, did a 10 millimeter mow, and then did another groom uh, a few days later, did a eight millimeter mow, then did another groom, and uh, went uh, another couple millimeters lower to six millimeters. So I got that down to six millimeters within a space of about five days. And that was, uh, and then I did a launch uh, two days ago. And this is the way it's looking now. I'm actually kind of surprised how good it does look considering what it's gone through. And it's starting to come back already. It's looking rather good, but obviously it's gone into the crown a bit. It looks a little bit scrappy. You can see the different directions I've mowed there as well, just so I'm not mowing in the same direction all the time. Yeah. Why am I trying to get the six millimeters? And uh, what's the pros and cons of it? You'd be surprised that the cons actually really outweigh the pros in this matter. And here's the reason why. Mowing low, especially, and my, mine is a Tiff Tough Cooch, it can handle being mowed, mowed down to about five millimeters, but it's really not meant to be at that height, to be perfectly honest. The reason I like going for that low look is because it just looks really smart and neat, especially once it's in full condition. Well, the cons are definitely, number one, you have to get a cylinder mower. These things are expensive and uh, mine's about a seven grand mower, so there you go. Just for a home mow, it's uh, a bit crazy. The, the maintenance of a cylinder mower is uh, crazy too, and you're constantly adjusting the blades. You have to make sure that the blades are sharp and that costs money, so there's a lot of maintenance to a cylinder mower and obviously a lot of initial cost. And the crazy thing about it is, if you want to really maintain a low cut, that is uh, not all that you need. You really need a groomer. You need something to get in there vertically to cut out the uh, thatch vertically because if you're low mowing all the time and not getting rid of that uh, thatch underneath that, uh, uh, the canopy of the, of the plant, well, it's going to look kind of crappy every time that you do it. So if you're not using uh, stuff like uh, PGR, and that's, I'm going to count this as a con as well because most people don't use it. It's, an extra chemical that you have to put down. It's, it's more time to put it down. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to use as well. So what PGR does is it uh, makes the growth go sideways rather than up, sort of densens the uh, uh, condition of the plant, which you know, looks really good for low mows and etc. And it'll even uh, grow the root zone a bit. But you know, that's uh, beyond what most people really get into. Look, you know, if you're not using PGR, you could be mowing three, four, five times a week to try and really keep that low. Now, also, you know, another con is uh, fertilization. You really have to keep your fertilization up and really be on top of it. Another con is uh, soil weather. You really have to make sure, because, because the lawn is really low, the ground is much more exposed to the elements. So if it's really hot, you have to keep on top of that uh, soil wetting to keep the, the water there, simply because if you let it dry out, then the roots will struggle and then the lawn will struggle and look brown. It's no good. Another con as well with the low cuts, uh, if you're using a cylinder mower, 
is that if you're going really low, the lines don't really show up. And I really like the lines and lawn. I think it's a great detail. So really there's lots of cons to it. You know, more chemicals, more care, uh, more fussing over it, and that takes time. And if you're looking to have a sustainable lawn and, you know, not go into the, you know, not produce too much carbon, well, if you're mowing it quite a number of times a week and grooming it as well, it's, uh, it's not uh, really, uh, I suppose, good for the environment if you're looking at it in that respect. But what are the pros? Well, when it's just low and nice and perfect, it's such a great look. I mean, I just really love a low cut. You know, having a lawn with like a, a, a golf uh, putting green is a real flex, you know. But, you know, unfortunately, us lordies, we really chuck sensibility out the, out the window a little bit when it comes to low mowing. And uh, me personally, I love it. So how do I choose my mowing heights throughout the season? Because they do change. And part of the reason I change them is because of the ease of maintenance and, uh, and uh, the differing conditions. So let's go into it. In spring, I like being low. I like being between that six to eight millimeter height. I'll go six millimeter early after my renovations uh, complete. Now, you know, it won't be six mils for long for me because um, I do my renovations in October now. I used to do them in September, uh, but I kind of like having it repair quicker in the October now. So um, it doesn't stay at six for long. Uh, and then when it goes to the end of the spring season, I'll go up to eight millimeters. And that's just a personal preference thing for me. That eight millimeter mark with the Tiff Tuff is when the lines really start showing up and showing up quite defined. And that extra length as well handles the, uh, the late spring heat, which can be a fair bit hotter than the normal spring heat and as well going into summer. So the thing about that as well is like at the eight millimeters, just that little bit more is really uh, doing quite well to protect my surface from evaporation. Um, and uh, but I keep my fertilizers up. So, you know, an easy routine that you can do for fertilizers is once a month using, uh, using four seasons and be sure to use a soil wetter with that as well because that'll really help. And if you really want a good result, uh, Hero once a month as well. That's an easy program to follow if you're just looking for easy, just normal, not spraying and stuff like that. Well, not spraying much anyway. You need to spray down the moist in the Hero. But you know, a uh, nice easy little routine for you to follow. Yeah, so entering into summer, I started that eight millimeter height. As I go through, you know, December, January, January can be really hot and uh, into February. I go from that eight millimeter mark and I grow up to the 12 millimeter mark by the end of summer. Why do I do that? Well, it's a little bit easier on the maintenance. Uh, cuts won't look scrappy. Um, and I'm trying to make the lawn not stress as much with the heat. So again, that extra height will protect the ground a bit from evaporation. And you know, I still groom it, you know, once a week maybe. But you know, sometimes life gets away with you a bit, so you might miss a few. And uh, the, that, you know, that 10 to 12 millimeter height is, uh, is really forgiving for the cylinder mowing look. And, and uh, of course the lines really come up uh, in summer, which is what I want. So when we go into autumn, I usually do another renovation. And why I do a renovation at that time is Number one, it'll come back really quick because there's a lot of heat around still, uh, early autumn for me, and uh, there's a lot of heat and energy in the ground. So it's much quicker repair than the spring renovation. And it's a chance to get rid of all the thatch and any problems and have it come back in the best condition ready for when dormancy comes, which will come later on in the autumn season. So the height that I start off with is about 12 millimetres at autumn. Then I go up to, you know, about 15 millimetres by the end of autumn going into winter. Winter, you know, the less, and you know, that 15 millimetre mark looks really good. Um, and also what I should say, the thatch will um, develop quite quickly uh, during the autumn season. 
and uh, I kind of want that because that thatch is really quite useful at a low level because when it comes to winter time I want it to uh, protect the ground and act as a weed mat so it'll stop any uh, weeds getting sunlight and uh, affecting germination etc. So winter time, look winter time I probably do <laughs> about four mows total for the whole winter. You don't really need to fuss about it too much. And uh, I'll let it go from 15 to 20 millimeters and it just looks nice and uh, nice and green. I had a great uh, winter season this year. Uh, and uh, then when it comes up to spring, start mowing again and then get into doing the renovation and back down to a six millimeter height. And this would be a big con. If I kept this at six mil throughout the whole year, I don't think it would really fare too well at winter. And of course, it would be it would be very uh, it'd be very hard to maintain throughout the summer at that height all the time. A lot of intensive work, more than I'm prepared to do, because I'm a busy person. I work a full-time job, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, that's the mowing heights I go for. Let us know in the comments. Uh, tell us your lawn type, tell us the heights that you go for and why you go for it and etc etc. <laughs> That'll be some interesting answers for sure. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching my video. Get your lawn on and we'll see you in the next one.